Okay, just for the archive, this is about 20 minutes after we've purchased the boat. Uh, totally overwhelmed with the project. Yeah, I'm uh, real overwhelmed. More wine, dear? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm totally overwhelmed with the project. The uh, We just sealed the deal like 25 minutes ago. The paperwork's all been done. The registration still has to be dealt with, but uh, that's coming. Uh, this is what we got to deal with. Um, see, alcohol stove, bar fridge instead of an actual proper fridge, regular sink, lots drunk of counter space. Huh? Drunk wife. Drunk wife. Oh man, she's a cheap drunk. Mm -hmm. Half a glass of freaking wine and look at her. Uh, you can kind of see that's the forward berth that way. Um, you can see. Uh, the old owner's stuff here, uh, just for the record, it was built by a Raymond L. Goss. Uh, Home-built steel hull, 43-foot um, Bruce Roberts catch. Uh, interesting taste in, de in decor. Uh, I guess practical for what he was using it for, the most part. It was, uh, it was more of a cottage than anything else, the furthest he ever went, as far as we know anyway is Quebec City, although the boat is made for much longer and greater things and hopefully we will be in a position to do much longer and greater things ourselves. See a little ship? Uh, the windows, they're all kind of fogged in Lexan, we gotta fix that. There's a billion things to do uh, and we've got a month to get her on the water if we want to use her at all this year. Because the channel is going to get shallower and shallower, and we got six feet of draft. So this is uh, the start. Yeah, nice little collection of books to start. Steel away, so steel hull boats. Uh, surviving the sea. Hopefully that won't come into play for too much anyway. Uh, we got a survive Perkins the savage manual. Sea. Oh, survive the savage sea. Son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah. So apparently he dreamed about it a lot, but. Uh, and hopefully we get a lot further than he did. Uh, one of the things that attracted me to the boat, even though it's ugly as sin, is no, the no. workshop. Oh, oh, yeah, got it from where? Dun, 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 dun. Killer bass. Okay, well, that's going to have to go. Anyways, uh, yeah, so, yeah, workshop. Uh, See, so he's even got a little vice and stuff and whatever. All the electrical is going to have to be redone for the most part. Everything's pretty antiquated and done either wrong or not up to current specifications. So we're, uh, we got our work cut out for that. Glad they had the uh, wherewithal to leave some of the paint and stuff so we can kind of see what he was doing. Uh, lights, cables, apparently there's a plethora of parts and things. Uh, Ooh, Alpine Stereo. There you go. That's the reason why we bought the boat. Um, I thought it was a VHS player down below. Oh, the VHS player. And, like, uh, don't... Oh, yeah. That was that cool. Man. Yeah. That's... Well, let's see. That's what you need is a VHS player. Um, and even has... Even though... Don't tell the, uh, the, the broker, but they actually took the... Uh, the TV off the list, but we do have the TV. I gotta show you the TV. Open, open up the locker right here, Jay. Which one? That one there? Yeah. There you go. See? There's the TV. With a radio. With a radio. How's that, eh? Is that cool? That's awesome. Um, okay, yeah, we've been up here already, going to look around. Foggy windows, boat, uh, bedroom. Hmm? Jay's arse. Yeah. Uh, mizzen sails up there, or no, yeah. in the stern. We're in the stern. Diesel. See, I don't even know the freaking boat enough to know the front from the back. So how's that? Um, but all in all, a very solidly well-built piece of work. Huh? Oh yeah, cool. Um, I have to hats off to Raymond L. Goss for uh, having the wherewithal and. The, uh, the fortitude to actually do a project this big and build his own big-ass boat. Um, hats off to you there, Raymond. Now, uh, I think that's about it.